Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa. It is June 12th, and we are reflecting upon the 2013-14 school year. We've done that in a myriad of ways this week, with graduation as well as the step-up ceremonies. I've had a chance to speak with many of you, and I would like to draw your attention now to ASD News on our ASD website, where we have, strategically speaking, our annual report on the school's progress relative to the five strategies of our strategic plan. Let me just provide a bit of context and then um, draw you into the actual publication, which is known as an electronic flipbook. As you know, everything that we do at ASD comes under our guiding statements, our mission, our vision, our values, our strategies, our identity, which all of which are so important to us. They guide every decision, and they are indeed, as our logo says, at the heart of learning. Well, where did these come from? They have been, of course, reviewed by, by groups every year, but in 2010, a large group was brought together, consisting of parents and teachers and students and support staff, and looked at the vision and the mission, did some rewriting, actually created the vision, as well as drafted the five strategies, which then in 2011 were formed into goals um, with measurable outcomes. Those guide what we do. They are also part of our reaccreditation process, given that next year we will be up for the 10-year reaccreditation with New England Association of Schools and Colleges. So as we look at the five strategies then, every year we report out our progress. There is no way to be able to capture in 16 pages the accomplishments of the year. And in fact, we come out with an August version after the AP and IB scores are out. But please, go into the publication and I ask you to note a couple of things. First, strategy one that has to do with positive, active global citizens. Note that really since 2008, the first service trip of the school, we now take four trips per year at the high school level that are dedicated towards service, and we have over 100 students participating. Of course, that isn't all that we do relative to service because our students, be they pre-Kers who are doing bake sales for Syrian refugees, up to upper elementary to middle school to high school are all engaged in fundraising activities and service activities, be they for our how workers, be they for the typhoon victims of, of the typhoon in the Philippines, be they for ASAT, um, a school in Ethiopia, and our own committee, the Positive Active Global Citizen Group, looks at student, faculty, and community proposals and funds worthy ones because of the importance of this strategy. Then gaze at strategy two, which is about preparing students for a changing future. Our goal with the very advanced technology that we have at this school is that we focus less on the hardware and more on the learning because indeed that's what technology is all about. It should facilitate student learning and student productivity. And we have found through surveys this year that the ability to access more and varied resources, the ability for students to be able to stay um, organized and to use such applications as OneNote in terms of note taking and homework, and the ability of teachers to be able to get back to students faster with feedback and students to be able to have richer, qualitatively better feedback in a more efficient manner. All of these things and many, many more are facilitated by technology. And you see what the students said in response to the question, how does technology help you learn, in the wordle that's created on the page. We also know with strategy too that there are important aspects for personal development, that um, the work that we do with students that is so important in terms of counseling, the work that we do around our school values and our behaviors of learning that are reported out on the report card absolutely impact whether students are prepared for a future. Strategy three then takes us into students will meet or exceed standard. You will see our amazing 
um, results on the MAP measurement of academic progress tests, which in fact are the highest in the school's history. If you look at where we stand relative to US norms as well as international norms, you can see that um, we are not only achieving well, but students are also improving every year. We also have um, indicators there in terms of college placement, as well as the fact that on a chart we show that both our advanced placement and our international baccalaureate programs in the high school are growing. More students are taking challenging courses, and of course that is good news. For strategy four, we reach out then into the community. We form partnerships with the Cuttery community. You will note one important partnership that is around our modern standard Arabic program. And we're so thankful to the Sheikh Faisal um, Center for, for Arabic Studies for the curriculum work that was started this year and will continue for the next two years. You'll also note that part of this strategy has to do with our volunteer efforts. And if you just take a couple of statistics, such as the fact that the military alone donated 27 hours of volunteer time to us this year, we add on top of that the steadfast, dedicated work of our PTA Booster Club cast, um, and it is indeed an amazing accomplishment of the school. And of course, this year we started um, the Alumni Association as part of our 25th that we know will be so important in the future. Strategy five then is about the infrastructure that supports all of this. And you can see categories relative to facilities, to human resources, to admissions, to safety and security that are so important to us. And an important point to highlight here is of course our campus improvement project where as a result of work that has started already we will be able to have 150 more students in the 2015-16 school year but indeed when we come back next August we will have a new track we will have new science rooms new science labs in the high school we will um, have many enhancements such as the interior courtyards in the elementary that will be work done over the summer in addition to fire and safety improvements. Well, we put all of these together and we know that we've had a tremendous 2013-14 school year that would not be possible without the dedicated, steadfast efforts of our teachers who are, of course, the most important element in terms of improving learning in this school. We thank them. We also thank our parents, our board, our numerous volunteers because we are in indeed a community that has learning at the heart, all of which are for our students. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you next school year. Bye-bye.